Good evening, I'm Cheryl Mercedes. Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow, state leaders will demand answers about the state and utility companies' response to hurricanes and tropical storms. It comes after the aftermath of Hurricane Barrel, which knocked out power to more than 2 million Centerpoint customers. It took the company 10 days to fully restore power. In Harris County alone, at least 18 people died in connection to Hurricane Barrel. Eight of them involved the power going out. Tonight, Troy Class is talking with state leaders about tomorrow's big hearing. Troy. Cheryl, I'm told that the questions will be basic, such as asking Centerpoint why they were not prepared for Barrel. The utility is responding, saying that they are taking actions to try and earn the public's trust back. We've heard your concerns since Barrel struck Houston. But I have to tell you, I just think they've done a lousy job. Pointing the finger at Centerpoint after some people say they went over a week without power. You're the last couple of people that still don't have power this many days out from the storm. I mean, it's extremely frustrating. And so I'm just trying to speak for the public who wants a simple question. You know, why weren't we prepared better? State Senator Paul Betancourt is on the special committee and says his questions will include why infrastructure has not improved, claiming other utilities around the country have tech that's resilient to storms. It's really getting my blood boiling the more that I see how much has been available for over a decade and why Centerpoint hasn't adopted any of it. Also on the committee is State Senator Carol Alvarado. She says state leaders have received a plan from the utility to address the concerns raised. I, I want to dig a little bit deeper on some of their plans moving forward. Um, you know, certainly they're talking about increasing their budget on vegetation and we're certainly pick apart uh, what they have submitted thus far. Meanwhile, Centerpoint tells KHOU in a statement it's already begun implementing more than 40 specific actions aimed at strengthening the grid, bolstering customer communications and storm response, such as targeting 2000 line miles with higher risk vegetation something that state leaders believe should have already been happening. When 60% of your failures relate to vegetation, you should be managing the problem. And again, why are we having to have a hearing with a multi-billion dollar company to tell them to do their job? But that's what's gonna to happen tomorrow. Again, that hearing is expected to start at 10 a.m. and State Senator Betancourt telling me that he expects legislation will be filed to also create additional oversight of the utility. Reporting, Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News. All right, hurricane season is here and lots of folks want to see all of those promises put into action now. Thank you, Troy.